Have you ever stumbled upon a trending design? Whether it was on Etsy, a design that you could possibly purchase. TikTok, a design that everybody is putting on their apparel. You just had to have that design because everybody was doing it. You finally have that design in front of you. The question is now, how can I make that design uniquely mine and separate myself from everybody else? That's the journey that we're into today, guys. We're going to take inspirations off of Etsy, Creative Fabrica, TikTok. We're going to take one design and make that particular design uniquely our own. Welcome to a world where creativity has no limits. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Blackie Stone. Welcome back to the channel where creativity meets learning. Today, we're diving into something special, creating a t-shirt from scratch and making it uniquely our own. But it's just not about the t-shirt. It's about embracing the journey, learning from our mistakes and growing together. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe post notifications set those to all that way the next time we drop a video just like this you'll be notified once you find value in the video give me a thumbs up but most importantly guys comment below your feedback really fuels our future projects so with that being said let's get over to the table so that we can embark on this t-shirt making adventure. Let's get it. Let's go. Gang. Okay guys, diving right into our project. We have a piece of fabric already prepped and ready to go. It's a leopard print with gold speckles. It's ready to go because we are already applied the heat and bond to the back of this fabric to give it that perfect stiffness, setting the stage for something that's gonna be, that's really gonna be truly unique. Now, typically we would be using a white stabilizer, but not today. We're going with this black mesh stabilizer just to complement the black, the black fabric that we're working with. We're using this sleek hoodie as our canvas for this masterpiece that we're about to create. I've got a lot of compliments from my clients in the past stating how soft this uh, particular brand is. To make this whole process seamless, we're using the Hoopmaster adjustable frame. This is a game changer, guys because it allows us to easily slide the stabilizer between the shirt and the hoops. Let me show you what I'm, what I'm talking about. We have two flaps here. Flaps go down. That mesh. Now all we have to do 
is open up the middle of this hoodie and drape it over the hoop master. Making sure that everything is fitted nice and smooth. And then all we have to do is use a piece of water soluble. So boom, just like that guys, we have our water soluble down and we have our eight by 13 uh, Mighty Hoop. The bottom frame is already there. These things are magnetized. All you have to do is pop it down and take it out the uh, Hoop Master frame. So let's take that off. And um, take our project over to our EM1010. All right, guys, here we go. Finished product. Um, from here, you can just do, just do just about anything you want. But for right now, we got to get this water soluble off. And it just basically tears off. A lot of you guys are probably wondering why we use the water soluble. It's because I like to use it just to keep the... Uh, the stitching on top of the fabric as opposed to sinking in. Um, it's one of those things I like to do as a precaution. And uh, we could have made this a little bit different. We could have still maintained the same contour with brown on brown, but we decided to make it uniquely our own, right? So we put the gold trim with the brown lettering. And then what we can possibly do is get some vinyl. Put conquer 
on the side, obstacle on the other side. And then we have CEO on the front. We can critique it any kind of way. If you haven't already tried water soluble guys, just try it to see how it fits in your application. It's not for everybody. Some feel like it's not necessary. But in my experience, this water soluble really makes your designs uh, unique. Um, the final stitching, it makes it look a whole lot better than just using stitching alone. As a matter of fact, the more material that you use, can justify the end price, right? So you want your customer to be uh, completely satisfied with the product. You don't want to shortchange them when it comes to embroidery. Um, one thing I, I realized like with embroidery, embroidery um, you gotta make sure that it's gonna last in the wash, right? So if you're shortchanging your customer when it comes to um, the different materials that you're using, they're gonna let you know because when they go to wash their, their fabrics, the uh, embroidery is gonna come back messed up it's really going to come back messed up so this is another reason why i like to try to separate myself from everybody else um it's really separating the novice away from the expert that heat and bond that material on the back we can also the reason why i like to use the heat and bond is because if you're not using heat and bond on your particular fabric, on fabric, then this one particular fabric that's on top is just going to sit there, right? And it's going to be loose. It's not, it's, it's going to look like it was done by an amateur. So what I like to do is take my little small iron and just go over The heat and bond, just putting a little bit of pressure on it, a little bit of heat. You can either use a, a little small iron like I have here, or you can use a heat press. Whatever you do, guys, just don't shortchange your customer. Don't shortchange your customer. Those few extra steps is really going to show in the end result when it when your customer gets your the product they're going to be like wow this looks completely professional it looks very professional especially when you're dealing with fabric as opposed to um what you see on on TikTok now with the um the glitter vinyl And even keeping with with that, the glitter vinyl, what's on what's on the back of the glitter vinyl? Adhesive, right? So that that glitter can actually stick to the uh, to the fabric as opposed to just being just floating in air, right? The else's. So okay, the creation has already been set. You bought the design. Switch it up. Why not switch it up? You know, switch it up. That way, when your customer gets it, they can see that this particular design isn't going to be like anyone else's. And it separates you from everybody else. 